Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank HD here with Morris. Hope everybody's doing all right out there. And at the end of the last part, we just figured out for just the bombshell that uh, Ratchet's home planet of Elden is going to be destroyed if we don't get to this friggin' spaceship and take it out. Um. So yeah, I think this is like the, the penultimate kind of location. I think we go to the, the planet buster thing, and then uh, and then we uh, we go down to planet Veldon again and beat the big boss at the end. So that yeah, we're coming towards the end, guys. My God, this game is longer than I, I previously thought it was. It's longer than my memory of it thought it was. <laughs> anyway, um, coming down here, I seem to think that there might be. But well, that's fine. This is this game is a good length. As far as single player goes, this is a great length, I think. A lot of games now are kind of short, and it's a shame, really. Um, you know, they used to. You know what? You know, one thing that I hate is the games are like really short at first, but then they come out with all this DLC, and it's like, why couldn't you just put this in the game? Why couldn't you just put the, you know, just put it in the? I hate DLC. DLC is like one of the, the worst, the most annoying things I think about this generation. Of gaming, and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop, you know. Like with a game like this, this was just the game, and you played it, and it's a great length, and it's really fun, and the replay value is fun. There's stuff to unlock, stuff to do, and it's just, it's just, it's freaking fun. So, you know, for, I mean, imagine a Ratchet and Clank game where it was like, oh yeah, and if you pay another, uh, you know, twelve quid, you get like three extra planets. You go, what the hell? Just put it in the game. I don't want to do that. Ah. Uh, but yeah, they've done it with the, they oh, they do it with everything. It's just so annoying. COD's the worst for it. It's like, hey, pay 50, well, 40, 50 quid for the game. I'm getting battered here. Pay 40, 50 quid for the game. Oh, but you can also pay another 40 quid for all these shitty multiplayer maps that you're inevitably going to get annoyed at because that's just the way it works. Ah, uh, it's just like, ah, uh, in the game. Just, please. Oh, uh, I don't know. There's just... I, oh, this is the super special one of a kind key. All right. A code bot. Yeah, what the hell? They did one use, and I think it's. I can't even remember what's behind the door. I mentioned in like the last, yeah, whatever episode it was, but that, it's such a weird item to put there. And I'm not even going back to get what it opens, so I don't know why it came this way. <laughs> Force of habit, I guess. But yeah, I'm not a fan of DLC. I bought some DLC in my time, like, uh. Fallout 3 DLC I got, because there was a lot of it, and I think I bought it all for like 20 quid, which is annoying, but it, 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 I think it was free at some point on PlayStation Plus, but, uh, but yeah, I got all that for 20 quid. Now that was, I'd say that was a worthy investment. Like, the, I imagine the Skyrim DLC is okay, like, as an investment, because they're, you know, as a, as a one of these big RPGs, you know, you know you're going to get quite a few more hours in it. But, I don't know, for something like COD and Revengeance as well, and I think DMC has it. These are just games I've been, you know, playing and watching recently. It's like, just put in the freaking game, dude. Ah, it bugs me. It's like, they're always trying to, I don't know. I, don't, I, I imagine there's more to it, but from the outside, it just looks like you're trying to get more money out of me. And that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for it. Ah. Like, there used to be a time when it was just like, yeah, this And, like, free DLC as well. It's like, well, why, if it's free, then just... Why are you even waiting this long? Just wait a bit longer and give me a complete game. It's not just gonna... That I'm not gonna have to install, like, a million other things on it. Sorry, I'm going off on a real rant here, but Jesus. <laughs> just, would you just do it, please? Alrighty, I don't think these guys can actually do this. Luckily, there's lasers. Now, this is quite a nice, uh, nice example of uh, learn by doing because it's got it shows it's got the laser there to protect you, but it shows you that the dogs, well, I say dogs, the robot dogs, can sense through the hollow guys. So you know, it gives you that to work with, and then makes it a little bit more complicated. Which is great. It's just um, well, we haven't come to it yet, but it's it's, it's just a nice it's a nice theme of this game, really. Alrighty, 40k, 41k nearly. I think I just loaded. We could buy a way out of this problem. We could be like, Drek, 
Drake, I'll give you I'll give you half my earnings, alright? You just you just go to another galaxy, alright? We'll forget this whole thing around. Oh god. Don't don't do that. Tactical retreat! Tactical retreat! Alright. And now an identical looking robot comes through the door, and they're fine with it. Are you gonna go in your little hole there? Could really help me out. Wow, I think I messed up that pun quite a bit. I just, I really want to just get through this bit quick, so... <laughs> Uh, I think I think there's a skill point for never being seen up there. I can't remember. I know there's. I think there might be a skill point related to this. Oh god, that was a mistake. So was that, but it's fine. We got it. Okay, so I think the plan here is to take out all the dogs first. <laughs> that seemed like a good idea. I think you gotta do it when the doors are filled up. Next time. And I'm playing it safe, I'm playing it safe. Honestly, these bits, if you get caught in the middle of those... If they, if they hit those buttons and you get caught, it's, it's, you're done. It's game over, dude, it's game over. And I think I might just be able to walk through the next bit, actually. Hey guys, just passing through. Just passing through. It's all good. We're going to that party at night, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll put no. I'll pick you up at eight. That's fine. I'll come around your place. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, not so well for you. Look at this. They are really just piling on the bolts. <laughs> Alrighty. Is there another little section? Yes, there is. Slightly less complicated, I guess. Could go horribly wrong. I do like to let go of that uh, swing shot a bit. Just a little bit early. So you kind of you're not landing right in the middle of it. You got a little bit of time just to recover. It's been a while since I've thrown an actual tip into this uh, walkthrough. I call it walkthrough for a I guess it's a let's play, isn't it? It's not really a walkthrough. Ah, uh, it's a rough guide. The, the, the Moonwalker Morris rough guy to Ratchet and Clank. Alright guys, you just you push on, push on. I gotta take this guy out. Oh, sorry dude. The robot's not walk back in and go, why is there a load of bolts lying where Jimmy was? I mean, he was stood there just a second ago. What could have possibly happened? Excellent day. All right, we just move on. Hey guys, yeah, I know, I'm having a really magnetic day. That's why all these bolts are flying towards me. It's fine though. Oh no, this is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like we're just gonna make you walk all this way. Never. Oh, you ain't hitting no button. Oh, look at these restricted areas. We're getting into the heart of this place now. It's quite a big level. Well, I guess it should be for a fleet. I think these are all different ships on it, so it's pretty cool. I approve myself. Any more? Yeah, they are really piling on the vaults. Although we are going to need them for the final boss. Ah, that's why I'm saving them all up for. That's why I'm not buying any like anything that isn't essential. <laughs> Now yeah, this is a nice, this is a pretty nice section, like that's cool to be able to see the planet. I think you can see uh, Velden as well. Yeah, oh my god, there it is. <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like this just looks really cool. The PS2, awesome. Alrighty, where are we going? Here we go. I'll take this jet fighter, I'll take this jet fighter all day long. No introduction to what you actually have to do. Just, just get in, just get in, and just fire. Just do your thing, Ratchet. Just do your thing. Do your thing. Oh, who sings that song? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and emulate. Oh god. Oh god. No, that was close. Uh, I 
do love these jet five seconds. Oh god! I love them so much that I can't do them, I just get too excited and just crash. Good job that was a checkpoint. <laughs> uh, that's the problem with these games. When you get so familiar with a game, and I am familiar with this game, like don't 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 think that I'm not just because I'm dying. <laughs> oh god. No, yeah, when you play games so much, you just you do get puppy. You go, you know what, I got this. I can pull off this. You just try things that you've never done before. Because you think you can do them. I'm so good at this now, I don't even need to be familiar with what I'm trying to do. Ugh. God, there are so many ships around here. These guys can't aim for shit either. Come on. Come on, here we go. He's such a nuisance enemy. Well, I guess that's what flying enemies are. Uh, have I missed one? I think I might have missed one. Oh, all one fires missiles? Oh god. Oh god, no, don't crash. Oh god. <laughs> Woo, cutting it fine. It's all good. We're in control. Don't, don't think I'm not. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's move on. Is Drek not on this ship? Oh no, he's down on the planet, isn't he? I was going to say, he'd be like, what the hell is happening out there? There seems to be some kind of rogue fighter out there. I don't think that's one of mine. I don't remember ordering anyone to blow up my own base. That doesn't sound like something I would do. I like the the helmet just flies off there. I don't need it. These are really, these lines are not a great indication of where it actually lies. Like, look, it completely misses that black mark. <laughs> it's like, what did that? What made that damage? Because it wasn't a laser. That might actually be quicker if you drop off and do it the other way. Whatever. Come on. Come on. Nope. I got you, Drek. I got you. Oh, I don't got you. Oh, Drek, you really changed. Tonight on Blind TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet. Witness the power, the destruction. Okay, don't don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. If this was on TV, you would watch it. <laughs> Everybody would watch it. That ends one world and begins another. Now that's an event. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers. Yeah. Featuring Captain Quark. Oh, that's some funny shit. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. Yeah. Let's get him. Info about the planet Velden. Oh yeah, because I have no idea. As if Ratchet wouldn't be able to find where his own planet was. Well, I guess he's never left, so maybe maybe he does need the coordinates. Although I can see it from here, so I guess I wouldn't really need the coordinates. <laughs> Just, just, just fly towards the big brown rock, Ratchet. Uh, alrighty, well let's go. Nothing left to do here. Save Ratchet's planet. This is the home stretch, guys. The final planet, the final mission. And it is a freaking tough one as well. This is by far the hardest level, as it should be, I guess. But not because of the boss, just because of everything else that comes before it. They really pile it on. But it's cool. I like it. Alrighty, here we go guys. Well, you know what, I'm going to pause it for now. Um, and then next episode, we'll just uh, we'll do this entire thing. We'll finish the game no matter how long the episode is. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I do hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. And I will see you in a bit. Somebody restacked my house with boxes. That's very nice of them. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. See you later.